Hi guys, I'm Rich. Let's go through my top five things to watch for the week ahead in markets. Number one, non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate. The release of the monthly NFP and the unemployment rate will be closely watched by the markets on Friday. A stronger NFP report suggests more aggressive rate hikes should be anticipated by the Federal Reserve as it shows the economy is strong enough to handle higher rates. According to expectations, 295,000 new jobs were added in June, which is less than the prior reading of 390,000 new positions for May. Number two, the Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision. Will the Bank of Australia decide to raise interest rates for the third time in a row? On Tuesday, the answer to this question will be provided and could impact the Aussie dollar. Supply chain disruptions, high oil prices and Australian inflation projections that are slanted to the upside signal that additional monetary tightening may occur. Australian inflation is now running at roughly 5.1% while the unemployment rate is holding stable at 3.9%. Number three, US Independence Day. Another long weekend is taking place in the US this week, Independence Day, which falls on Monday this year. It's a federal holiday in the US honoring the Declaration of Independence on July 4th. The new stock exchange, NASDAQ and all other US exchanges will thus be closed on Monday and are scheduled to resume on Tuesday. Number four, FOMC meeting minutes. The meeting minutes of the June FOMC meeting will also be made public this week. Currency traders will examine the minutes for hints regarding upcoming interest rate decisions since they provide precise insights into the FOMC's position on monetary policy. The meeting minutes for this week could determine the chances for a full percentage point hike in July and the next direction for the dollar. Number five, dollar index testing 20 year highs. If the dollar index concluded its retracement to the downside during the past week, reaching 103.50, then it could be setting the stage for another attempt to test the 20 year highs at 105.78, which if broken above, would be a bullish continuation signal over the medium term. You can of course click on the link in the description below to see the full economic calendar with the previous month's data and consensus expectation for this time. But for now, as always, thanks guys. Good luck trading this week. And remember to please give it a quick smash of the like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss more content like this when it's released.